Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something super interesting and also very important, how to safely use the Tor browser. Now, if you've ever heard of Tor, you probably know it's one of the best ways to browse the internet privately and anonymously. But if you're new to it or not sure how to stay safe while using it, this video is for you. I'll walk you through some essential tips, settings, and good habits to make sure you're using Tor securely, especially if you care about privacy. So let's jump straight into it. So what is the Tor browser? The Tor browser is a completely free open source browser built to protect your privacy online. It works by routing your internet traffic through a global network of volunteer servers called the Tor network. Each server or node passes your data to the next one, encrypting it multiple times along the way. This makes it almost impossible for anyone, whether it's your ISP, hackers, or even government agencies, to track what websites you're visiting or where you're located. Tip one, use a VPN with Tor now. The first one is always pair Tor with a VPN. Here's why. While Tor hides your activity inside the network, your internet service provider, ISP, can still see that you're connected to the Tor network. In some countries, that alone can raise red flags or trigger extra monitoring because Tor is often associated with illegal activity, even if you're just using it for privacy. A VPN or virtual private network encrypts all your internet traffic and hides what you're doing from your ISP entirely. This way, no one can see that you're using Tor at all. The VPN adds another layer of encryption, giving you full protection before your traffic even reaches the Tor network. But before you buy a VPN, make sure you get the right one. Because there is a lot of really bad VPNs out there that overcharge like crazy and have really slow speeds. And the worst part is that they are not even secure. That's why I recommend you all to go to vpndiscount.org right now and pick one of the VPNs from their list that they reviewed. Not only is it reviewed by VPN experts, they also provide the best discount for you to use. I used their site to get NordVPN and I was able to save 75% off, which is absolutely massive savings. So do not miss out. Go to vpndiscount.org now and secure yourself one of the best VPNs in the world for super cheap. They also have others like ExpressVPN, which is also really good as well. But it's also really simple to use the site. You just click the link, then buy the VPN and install it onto your PC, laptop, Mac, or even mobile device. There's no reason you shouldn't have a VPN in this day and age. Try it out and stay safe online, guys. Tip two, keep Tor updated. This one sounds basic, but it's really important. Always keep your Tor browser up to date. Tor releases updates frequently, not just to add features, but mainly to patch vulnerabilities and fix security issues that hackers could exploit. So whenever you see that little update available message, don't ignore it. Install it right away. Staying current keeps you protected. Tip three, adjust privacy and security settings. Next, let's tweak the privacy settings inside Tor itself. Head over to Settings, Privacy and Security. The first thing you want to make sure of is that always use private browsing mode is turned on. This means Tor won't save your browsing history, cookies, or cache data, so nothing can be traced back later. Then let's talk about JavaScript. Many websites rely on it to display interactive elements, but enabling it can actually create major security risks. Hackers can use JavaScript-based exploits to reveal your identity or even inject malicious code. So I recommend switching from standard mode to safest mode. This will completely disable JavaScript by default. If you still want some websites to work while keeping decent protection, safer mode is a good middle ground. Also, make sure the block dangerous and deceptive content box is checked. This helps protect you from phishing or malware sites pretending to be legitimate. Tip four, avoid sharing personal information. This should go without saying, but it's worth repeating. Don't share any personal information while using Tor. That means no names, real email addresses, or phone numbers. The entire point of Tor is anonymity, and using your real details defeats that purpose instantly. Also, be very cautious when downloading files from the dark web or even the regular web while using Tor. Files can carry hidden scripts that connect back to your real IP once opened, revealing your identity. If you really have to download something, only do it from a trusted source and always scan it with antivirus software before opening. Tip five. Strengthen your accounts. If you ever log into any accounts while using Tor, make sure you've got two-factor authentication, 2FA, enabled. It adds an extra step to logins, making it way harder for anyone to break into your accounts, even if they somehow get your password. Speaking of passwords, use strong and unique ones. Don't reuse passwords across multiple sites. If remembering them all sounds impossible, 
you can use a password manager. NordVPN's Plus Plan actually comes with a cross-platform password manager that can generate and store ultra-secure passwords automatically. All right, that's pretty much everything you need to know about using the Tor browser safely. If you're serious about protecting your privacy online, combining Tor with a good VPN is absolutely the way to go. It gives you double protection, hiding your IP, encrypting your traffic, and keeping you completely anonymous. If you want to check out any of the VPNs I mentioned, you'll find links to the best discounts and full reviews down in the description. Each one comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test them out completely risk-free and get your money back if you're not satisfied. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something useful today. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more privacy and tech tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay private, and have an awesome day.